Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Love you guys. Thanks for coming on over to see what I'm doing in my craft room today. I'm gonna work in this glue book. I don't have a name for it. Um, it's a collage glue book. But um, before I get into this, and because I have an idea of what I wanna do, I wanted to show you something really fun that I did the other day. I made some stencils and the stencils, the material that I used, is the plastic dividers that you get for your folders or your binders or you know the sleeves that you can get to separate sections in the binders. So I made this one and they're just cutoffs from other projects that I had done. I just felt like cutting. So I made this one, this one, Ah, can't get it back in there. And then I put them in an envelope with a guide on the front and I really love this one. And I wanted to make, I want to make more of the faces, but it was a little bit time consuming. So, but how cool is that? I really liked how that one turned out. And just some dots. And this was a clear piece of cellophane of some sort. I don't, I don't think this was even one of those dividers. I don't know what this was from. But it makes a decent enough stencil just to, you know, just to have some sort of a mark making thing. Another piece just to use it up. Didn't think too much on us making them. But this one has a stencil and it's um, ghost print. Stencil and negative. So this one has both. And it's just a funky foul botanical design kind of just a fun thing and then just some stripes and won't these be fun in mixed media and collage and just being creative and not that I don't have enough stencils already I just bought a pack and I thought they were going to be the four by fours but they ended up being eight and a half by elevens So I just, I just got these and I used some of these in the blue, my blue project. And they're fun and all, but they're just big. They're just big. I may, mainly got it for this one right here. I like, I like this one the best. <laughs> and, and honestly, making stencils isn't, or buying stencils isn't a thing I do very often, but I just treated myself. And then I did that whole blue thing. But anyway, so what I have in mind today, and another stencil that I have in here, what I have in mind today is to work on this page. So this is gonna be a collage book. So this being a drawn doodle page, I wanted to put a collage on it. So I looked at my painted papers. I'm really trying to use up more of the painted papers. And here's another stencil that I created. Um, just made a person and here's the here's the the inside and then here's the outside so I have I have both both and so that's a that's a plus for me so I just use some paper let me set this aside put it back put it back away and these are those skinny envelopes uh, for those cards that I made. Uh, yeah, a friend of mine gave me these envelopes, so that's why I have so many of those. I don't always know why I have all the envelopes. But I I uh, traced the stencil, and I'm gonna cut it out and have this thing going on. And I've got some arrows, and I've got some, I've got a quote, uh, courage is found in unlikely places. So I'm gonna put the quote on this as my thinking. This is my thinking. And we'll end right here. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start to glue and, and cut and set some music up for you. And uh, we will get back to you after I have created. So and give me a yellow page. I like my yellow page. I'm going to scoot things over just a smidge so I have room to work. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so that's an easy thing to do. Just a little bit right there. Probably should have glued the green thing down first, but it all worked out fine, didn't it? Um, let's see, what else could I do here? That seemed too easy. <laughs> too easy. Uncork the good life. Courage is found in unlikely places. Yeah. Just an easy little thing that put together. And if you've got any kind of plastic scraps like this, look for ways to use them. Get out an X-Acto knife. Make shapes and whatever you can think of. Look on Pinterest and find the ideas or Instagram. And this is going to be a fun thing I can use later. Right? Isn't that fun? Anyway, so easy enough, right, guys? I just think that's fun. I thought I'd share it with you since I was working in this book and I have only have about five more pages left in this book. I'm kind of glad about that and I've enjoyed working in it and I've used up some of my scraps too and I'll show you those pages at the flip through in the end. All right friends that's it for today. Love you guys. Thanks again for coming on over. Just a quick little video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. Take care and as always God bless. Bye bye.